Local News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the 9 a.m. Tiger Financial News Network update for November the 11th. And thank you to all the vets out there. We're looking at the S&P up 17. Now, this is very interesting. Look, this is the E-mini uh, uh, S&P. Uh, look at this orange line here. This is the 200 period moving average on a two on a 10 minute chart. How important are moving averages? Well, you just use them as a tool, like a little like a signpost, and that's all. Look, it was resistance all the way from about uh, two two thirty yesterday afternoon. All the way, every time it kept coming down and ran back up and hit it and then it pulled back. And lo and behold, it pulled all the way back from the uh, 46 uh, 70s down to the low this morning of 40, uh, 46.38. Well, even lower, 46.28, I think it was. And then it rallies. And lo and behold, it has all these different sideways moves, but it makes higher highs and higher lows. And then what happens for the past since... Uh, 520 this morning Eastern time, you're stuck with a 4661 resistance and the 4655 support. For all this time, hours, we've been in a sideways range. Where? Hugging the 200 period exponential moving areas. That's all it's important for. It's just to tell you, give you another road sign. So if later on in the day, the, the S&P starts to trade at 466, it's at 458 right now. That's a positive, and that's going to be, and that'll help the Dow, which is only the futures is only up 17. So let's just go through these real quickly in this uh, update before you go to Tommy Jr. for his uh, market uh, for his uh, early morning uh, his show. And I'm going to go through here the Dow 36,565. Pulls back quite sharply. The futures are only up, as I say, 18 points right now. The S&P uh, closed yesterday at 46.46. Um, 46. It made an all-time high of 47.18.50 four sessions ago. And uh, what are we looking at? We're looking at it up 17 in the futures, up 17. So this is an important session. We're also looking at the QQQ, which had a very sharp pullback from 400.99, all-time high four sessions ago. It's now 392. It's up three from yesterday's low. And what's really important is that gold had a spectacular move yesterday, and it's continuing that up thrust. But so is the dollar. And the crude oil, yep, the dollar is up uh, 13 ticks and 95. And crude oil is in fact pulling back from the high that it made uh, on the 25th at 85.41. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Tommy for his uh, market kickoff show and then my show.